Hi guys, Top Pops here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking all about New York Comic Con and what you need to know before the convention starts. So let's get started! And now this convention is a little bit different because Funko was supposed to be going to New York Comic Con this year, but pulled out just recently, and I feel like New York Comic Con wasn't too happy about that. Because from past experience, whenever you go to New York Comic Con, everybody's always walking around with those giant Funko bags, but this year without Funko being there, I feel like attendance is super low. But that doesn't mean that we're not going to be getting really cool Funko Pops this year, and that's what we're going to be going through first, and then at the end I'll tell you guys exactly how to get these things and where they'll be going to. And I guess let's just go through all of the figures that Funko announced, starting with these ones right here, which would be Mar Marvel. So we've got Carnage, and a lot of people are saying it looks a little bit too brown, but after watching the movie, that's kind of the color he was. Like, maybe he was a little bit redder in the film, but whenever he had his giant arms out like this, it was nighttime, so I guess it makes sense for him to be a little bit darker. And the next character that Funko announced was Polaris, and this one really does look great. I especially love that Funko made her floating, and also, whenever they do make the characters floating, they kind of angle their feet down to make it look like they're almost like rising in the air, and it really is neat. Oh, and also, this figure here is a glow-in-the-dark one, so it's definitely going to look really cool on your shelf. And then the last one that they announced for Marvel is my favorite one. I really do enjoy Carnage and I am probably going to go for him as well, but I mean this one here, a Rocket Raccoon Soda, you can't beat it. And then after Marvel, Funko announced Star Wars, and there was only one figure this year, which is kind of sad because I do enjoy getting new Star Wars ones, but it was still a pretty great one, and this one here is Boba Fett from The Mandalorian. And the thing is, is that we do already have a Mandalorian Boba Fett, which came out just a little while ago, so I think it is neat that they're making another one, and at least for this one, it is so different that you'd probably want to pick up both. Especially because the first one does have his helmet on. When this one is kind of like unmasked, it's pretty neat. And now very similar to Star Wars, they only had one DC figure coming this year, and this one is going to be Savant from The Suicide Squad, and I really do enjoy this character, and I feel like I'm going to have to pick it up for my Suicide Squad set, because I really enjoyed the movie, and I feel like it would go along great with the rest of the figures in my collection. And I'm going to try not to spoil anything here, but even though he wasn't in the movie for too long, he's still a character that I would like to pick up, especially because I do really enjoy Michael Rooker and everything that he's in. Actually, guys, I spoke too soon. There's actually two different DC things coming out, and the second one was a soda. I don't know why they didn't put it in the same slot. Line, uh, whatever, it doesn't really matter. But the soda coming out is going to be a Poison Ivy, and the Chase version is a glitter one, and I really do enjoy this thing. And if you're wondering, this one's limited to 12,000 pieces, so it isn't anything too crazy, and for a soda, you should be able to get it pretty easily. Ooh, now after that, we have another soda, and this one here is probably my favorite soda from the entire con. Well, actually, this one or Rocket is pretty good. I mean, it's one of those two, but this one here is Operation, and I am loving that Chase, especially because the right parts of him glow in the dark. And I'm so glad that they made this figure a glow-in-the-dark chase because all of the right things are glowing and I don't even know what you'd call them, like the cavities in them? Because his name is Cavity Sam, I guess we'll go with that, as well as his nose. So it's almost like you're playing the game with the chase. And like I mentioned, with this thing only having 5,000 pieces, it's definitely going to be hard to get, but I will try my best. And I don't know where this one's going to be shared to here in Canada, but I, I guess we'll figure that out towards the end of the video. And now we're getting into some figures that they always have at pretty much every single con that they go to, and this one here is a Masters of the Universe line, and it's kind of crazy to me that they made this one bigger than both Star Wars and DC. But hey, I guess people really do enjoy Masters of the Universe, and I don't really get too many of them. Like, I have a couple here and there, but these ones, I mean, they really do look great, and I'm wondering if they're going to be in the Retro Toys line, or if they're going to be in the television one. And I'm not exactly sure, because they don't show off the boxes here, but let's go through all the different characters that they've got. So they've got two sodas coming out. They've got a Snake Face one, limited to 5,000 pieces, as well as a Roboto one, also limited to 5,000 thousand pieces. And then it looks like they're also going to be making a snake face pop as well as a Zodak one. They don't have the names on here, but I believe that's what his name is. And with the Masters of the Universe stuff, I think you guys can tell I don't know them too well, but I'll probably try to get at least two of the sodas to see if I can get one chase and one common. And now the next thing that they announced is something so crazy. Like this might be the pop of the year. And this one is in the Dungeons and Dragons line. And I mean, come on guys, look at this thing. I don't even know what it's called. Tiamat? Tiam Tiamat? I don't know. But I mean, it is sick. Like, I mean, guys, come on. This is a dragon with five heads, and it also comes with a D20, and I've never played Dungeons and Dragons, but I do like to pick up some of the unique ones, and I'll probably have to get this one as well, just because, I mean, come on. Look at how crazy this thing is. And it is also a super-sized pop, so I believe that this one is a six-inch, and I also noticed on the Funko app that they did put up the glam shots for it, and when you look at the box, it looks way bigger and way weirder, so it's gonna be super hard to put on your shelf, but it looks looks way bigger and way weirder than a normal six inch pop. 
And now guys, the next thing that we've got here is another soda. And this one is Bingo from the Banana Splits. Now they're only making Bingo for New York Comic Con, so I feel like you're gonna wanna pick this one up to help complete your set. And I feel like they're gonna be making all of the Banana Splits into sodas because they already teased Snorky a little while ago, and now that they're making Bingo, it seems like a pretty good bet that they're gonna make the other two. And where are they? Actually, here are the other two right here. I've got Drooper, if you guys wanna check him out, there he is, and then we also have Flegel, and these are the other two that they haven't talked about yet, but I definitely think that they are gonna be turning them into sodas. And if they do, you guys can come back to this video and say, hey, Tristan, you were right, because I feel like with them already making two of them so quickly back to back, they've gotta make the other ones. Oh, and in case you guys are wondering, this one is limited to 3,000 pieces, so I believe it is the most limited soda at this convention. And now this next character, I don't know too much about it, but this one is from Hamilton, and it's actually Lafayette, and I think it really does look cool. Like, I think there's a lot of detail detail into the character, I just don't know much about him because I haven't seen Hamilton. And I apologize, but I'm sure there's a lot of Hamilton fans that watch the videos, so if you guys want to check him out, there he is right there, but that's pretty much all I got for you guys. And now guys, the next figure that Funko announced was a pretty mediocre one. This one here is another Polly Pigeon, and it's actually the third here that they've done Polly Pigeons. This is just a different colorway with the green and white instead of the normal. I think last year they did orange and blue, and then the year before that they did like red and blue. Like they're very similar. And I still think that the pop looks nice. Like I think it's a really neat sculpt, and I think it's amazing that Funko did create the Polly Pigeon for New York Comic Con. I just feel like they could kind of change it up a little bit and maybe do a different character, or maybe give us at least a different sculpt for Polly Pigeon because it looks nice. Like I said, it's just, it's the same three years in a row now. But if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I feel like it's going to be really tough to get and it's probably going to get kind of expensive because it is limited to 1500 pieces. So flippers are going to get this thing super quick. So if you are going to be trying for this one, I definitely recommend going for this one first because it is only 1500 pieces. And then the next thing that Funko announced was two brand new figures for My Hero Academia. Now that I've been watching the show, I definitely want to pick these ones up for my collection. And we have a weekend all night shopping as well as Fropy. And I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to get both of these because I think the Fropy really does look nice, especially with how they made her completely translucent like that. It really is gonna look neat in person. Like, I mean, it looks cool here in the glam shot, but when you actually get a translucent pop and can see it in person, I love looking all the way through them. It's pretty cool. And then of course with that week in All Might, I love that he's got the umbrella as well as a shopping bag. And just overall, it's a pretty well done pop. And I'm glad that they also changed the way his head looks instead of giving us the same week in All Might head that we had from the other figure. So overall, they're not amazing. My Hero Academia figures. I feel like there's a lot of other characters that they could make, like some other heroes, but they still are some pretty neat ones, and I'll definitely be picking them up. And then, guys, after My Hero Academia, we got a brand new one from The Office, and it is only one figure this year, but it is definitely a nice one, and this one here is Moe's with his fear shirt on. And I'm trying to think of what episode this is from, and I'm pretty sure it's the one where Dwight drops Ryan off on a random road, and then he makes it to Shroot Farms, and then Moe's is there trying to scare him, and that's why he's got him in a pose like this. I think that's what it is. That's really specific if it isn't what it is. It's gotta be that. And now we've got the one and only ad icon for the convention. And this one, I will say, is a pretty great one. Even though they've been doing a lot of the nuggets recently, I think that this one is probably the best one out of the bunch. And this here is the McDonald's Pumpkin McNugget. And I love the way that they actually put him inside the jack-o'-lantern. And I really do like the way they did the stem in the back with the M on the front, and then the jack-o'-lantern carving into the bottom. And the facial expression on the nugget is pretty good as well. So just overall, it's a pretty neat figure. And if you guys are wondering why Funko's been making so many of these, it's because back in, I believe, the 80s or 90s, McDonald's actually had these as mascots that you could purchase as little figures. So Funko's actually been recreating a lot of those, and this, I actually found it, was one of them. And if you guys want to check it out, there it is right there. And now next up, we've got Pokemon, and I was hoping for some brand new character that we had never seen before, but they gave us Shiny, a Shiny Eevee, but not the Shiny you're thinking. Well, actually, you probably are if you know Funko Pops. It's the Diamond Edition one, which if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm not really surprised surprised at all. And I still think this Eevee does look great. And I don't think that we have a Diamond Edition Eevee yet. So at least that's good. They're not doing their second one because this is the second version of Eevee. I'm trying to think, did they ever make an original one? I don't think they did. I think they did a flocked one for the original sculpt. And then for the newer sculpt, I guess they're doing Diamond Edition. And now I do actually have a Diamond Edition one right here if you guys want to check it out. This one here is the Squirtle. And I think that it actually really does look nice with the glitter on them. And it doesn't look 
cheap at all, so I think Funko does a good job with it. It's just too bad they don't make actual shiny Pokemon. And now next up, we've got another Stitch figure from, of course, Lilo and Stitch. And if you guys want to check this one out, here it is right here with the rollers in his hair, as well as the good and bad drawing in his hand. And I will definitely be picking this one up to help complete my Lilo and Stitch collection. The only thing that I wish, and you guys have heard me ramble about this a lot, is that they made maybe Jumba or Pleakley or Gantu or literally anybody besides Lilo and Stitch. And I don't mean Angel. Or Scrump. They've made the two of those already way too many times. But if they could make anybody else, that would be amazing. David, Nani, Leroy. Sorry, I could go on forever. Now, I talked about this figure a little while ago and that this one was going to be coming for New York Comic Con because the other two conventions before this, they did both Donald and Mickey. And now they're finally doing the third Musketeer, Goofy. And if you're one of those people that's been collecting them throughout the cons, you're definitely going to want to grab this one because you can't just have Mickey and Donald without Goofy. But for me, I'm going to have Goofy and Mickey without Donald. I need to get him. I didn't think at the time that they were going to be making all three of them. I thought it was just like a one-off character, so I was like, I don't need that. But now that they've made both Mickey and Goofy, I definitely need to get him. And now, if you guys have been a fan of the It's a Small World characters, they're actually coming out with another country, which is Dutch Child. And I think that this one really does have a lot of great detail. And the only one that I have in my collection right now is Kenya, because that's the only one that I was able to find at pretty much any store I go to. So maybe I'll have to order the rest of them online to go along with this one here now. Because if you guys don't know, one of my mom's favorite rides in Disneyland and Disney World is It's a Small World. So I'm hoping that I can get this entire set before they retire these things. And now everybody, we've got one more figure for Disney and this one here is Arthur pulling Excalibur. And I love the amount of detail that they put into this character, especially because he's got one foot on the rock and he's also got one hand on the sword. And just overall, it's a really dynamic pose for the figure. And I don't know if this one's going to be considered a moment or a normal size pop, but whatever it is, I'm probably going to try to get it. And now that's it for the pops that Funko's going to be bringing to New York Comic Con. But if you guys want to check out this, they also have a bunch of lounge fly stuff coming. And if you notice with the Emperor's new groove bag, you can actually get a Yzma pop. And if you guys haven't seen the movie, that's actually her as a cat. And I think it really does look great, especially because you get a bag that looks pretty much exactly like the figure. And now if you guys are wondering where you're going to be able to get all of these figures, they're actually going to be on Funko.com on, let me make sure I've got this right, October 7th, 2021 at 9 a.m. PST, which is actually tomorrow if you guys are watching this, the day that the video comes out. And I'm trying to be as quick as possible with this, but they were literally announcing the figures only a couple days before the convention. And the nice thing is for the most part, you really don't even have to go to the convention to get these figures because Funko's not physically going to New York Comic Con, they're pretty much all online. Besides like one or two figures that are going to the merch booth at New York Comic Con, but other than that, you guys are pretty much safe. And if you guys are wondering where these figures are going to be shared with outside of Funko.com, here is the huge list of them right here. And if you're wondering about some of them, Funko just means Funko.com. And then Reed Pop means, of course, the merch booth over at New York Comic Con. And the Golden Arches Unlimited means McDonald's website. I don't know why they didn't just put that. Oh, and then it also says under it in small letters, if you guys can't get it on the Golden Arches website, also available at Funko, which is, of course, Funko.com. And if you guys are wondering where these are going to be exclusive to outside of the US, there there is all of them going on the screen right now. And I know that there is a lot of them. I'm not going to be able to go through every single one, but if you guys want to pause and check out your country, there they are right there. And I'm going to keep talking so that way they can keep slowly flipping through all of them because there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 different countries. Oh, and also the last thing that I want to mention guys is that these shared retailers are going to be getting these figures in the next day from Funko.com. So not the seventh, the eighth. So make sure you guys go to your stores early if you want to get these figures. And it says here they should be available at 6 a.m. PST at the earliest. Oh, and it also says here some retailer shared exclusives are currently delayed. And I know that Hot Topic said that theirs were going to be coming in in December. So I guess if you do really want some of those, maybe the hype will have died down a little bit and it might be easier to get by then. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please let me know in the comment section below what you guys are going to be hunting for on the 7th as well as 8th for New York Comic Con this year. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Ops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. On a four with school. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B five four thump. I'm a hump on a bump. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Lama lasses.